Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I was going to do a first impressions on the best foundation I have used in so long. Um, but I already tried to film it and I just didn't like how how it came out. I did like a full day wear test. So I figured instead of doing a first impressions, I'm just gonna tell you about the best new foundation that I have found. I haven't found something that I loved so much, so instantly in a while. And I'm gonna show you how it applies and how it wears throughout the day. So what I'm talking about is from Patrice Cosmetics. This is their HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This says it lasts up to 24 hours. I don't know about that doesn't even matter though because it says that it's mattifying and it has a second skin effect both of those things are 100% completely true this feels like nothing on the skin and it doesn't look heavy or cakey but it is full coverage and it lasts it lasted for me all day long when I used it um, so I just love it so so much what I want to do is put down some primer so the day the other day when I first used it I used it with the Catrice prime and fine um, okay they're both Catrice <laughs> um, this was fine but I don't think that it worked well with this um, I don't know you know how you just, you can just tell if a combination is just not right so I'm going to go in today with two different primers. I'm going to use my Milani. This is the touch up stick on this side of my face. And I want to see which one is going to wear better for me. And then on the other side, I'm going to go in with my expensive um, primer little concoction because these two work the best in the entire world for me. And then this will be really cool to see as well if there's a difference at all between these two. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a lot of issues going on with my skin right now. There's a lot of just redness, a lot of bumps. This is pretty typical for me. I don't know. I always get something right here and then right here. Lately, it's just been reoccurring. It starts to go away and then it's fully back. It's just very annoying. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of unevenness. I've got a lot of like small acne. I've got a lot of redness. So you're about to see the best foundation. So just always mix things up. You guys can see um, it originally on my skin in Friday's video where I talked to you about what is on, what is in my to-go makeup bags. That day I was using the shade 30 and it was just too light for me in my opinion. It was just way too white. I needed to go up and the next shade that they had in store was 40 Warm Beige. I'd always rather have a foundation that's a little bit darker rather than lighter because I just feel like I can make darker work better for me in the end, whereas lighter, it just looks too light. No matter what I do, I just don't like having a ghostly face. This foundation, if you don't know, comes with a dropper. You actually get a ton of product in the dropper itself. I'll do it again so you can see how much comes out of here. You get a lot. Um, I don't necessarily like this applicator. I'm all about pumps. Put my stuff in a pump, okay? Have it have a pump. It needs to have a pump. It is 2018. Put a pump, put a pump, put a pump, 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 okay? Um, but I, you know, whatever. I'm just going to put a couple drops. You don't need a lot. And I am not somebody who puts droppers on my face. I think that's stupid. I'm not going to do it. So, here we go. This foundation is just absolutely gorgeous. There is a little bit of like a scent to it. I just washed my beauty sponge, so I think it kind of absorbed a lot of that product. This is the e.l.f. beauty sponge, by the way. I've got a full review on it. I love this sponge so much. It's so affordable. It's like five bucks. It gives beautiful coverage. It actually gives foundation much fuller coverage because the texture on here is a little bit thicker. Um, but this sponge does kind of eat up your product in a, in a faster way. Um, a lot more product gets absorbed into the sponge is what I'm trying to say. So I would recommend if you haven't heard any of my other video tips is to put a thin layer of moisturizer on your sponge before going in with liquids, especially a very thin, thin liquid like this because having that barrier between the sponge and the product will make sure the sponge isn't absorbing your product and stealing it. Um, so I did not do that. I totally forgot, uh, but do it. 
so I mean good lord look at this this is one side done it just remember that monster gone all the redness gone unevenness gone this color is absolutely perfect for me um, and there is a slight scent to this a slight scent to this it's so barely there and it goes away right away it's almost like a floral scent so it smells really good um, but this is one side done and one side not so you know I mean like it just looks so so good and you can see like it's got full coverage but it's not heavy it's not thick it doesn't look like girl you got makeup on you know what I mean but it covers just so nicely um so I, I love this foundation so much but you can also like totally go full on glam you can go in with Concealer, highlight, powders, contours, cream contours, you can do the whole nine yards and still look fabulous. It's just a very versatile foundation, which is something I look for in my foundations. So it is a little bit thin, so I do need to put some extra layers on my nose because I've got a lot of redness still peeking through. Okay guys, so this is the foundation on. I mean, tell me it doesn't look freaking stunning. It is just so pretty. It's it's my absolute new favorite so i'm gonna go ahead and jump off camera i will do a full full face today and then i'll come back on i will do probably two check-ins um one in a couple hours and then one before i go to bed so you can see how beautifully this wears throughout the day and i'll see you guys in just a minute okay guys so 100 years later i'm finally ready tell me my skin doesn't look fabulous Ugh, this foundation is so so good um, there's actually, I think, more primer coverage on this side, which is the Milani side, the affordable side, um, and it looks freaking fabulous. So what I'm going to do is go about my day. I'll do a check-in in just a couple of hours, and then I'll do another check-in before I go to bed so that you can see how beautifully this wears throughout the day. I am obsessed with this foundation. I highly recommend that you give it a look it's only $12.99 I love it I think it's the best and yeah you're about to see more of it um just so that you know that it wears wear that it wears very well throughout the day so I'll see you guys in just a little bit hello beauties so it is four o'clock right now my foundation looks absolutely amazing I got a little bit oily so I did just use a powder brush with no product on it to just soak up some of that oil and this is what we're looking at um so yeah I've had the foundation on for over four hours it still looks stunning it's very windy today so that's definitely going to play a huge factor in how the foundation wears just keep that in mind um and I do plan on going out tonight to a pumpkin patch with my son and my husband so I will go ahead and do one more check-in I feel like that won't be very fair because again it's really really windy out and I plan on wearing a beanie so I'm still gonna do it but um, this whole section might just not look the best because of the beanie <laughs> so anyways um, foundation looks great it's holding up beautifully and it hasn't started breaking up anywhere so I will see you guys later on tonight we're at the pumpkin patch I just got a ticket and now it is raining <laughs> You touch the, the water, baby? Yeah. 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 